Uh, let's start off with that money supply data. Of course, that overall number coming through 4.8% year on year growth, extremely strong there. It continues to signal st a strength in consumer demand. I mean, wh what are your thoughts on that number and the continued strength we're seeing in that money supply figure? Yeah, both the money supply and private sector credit extension figures continue to do well in Namibia overall. Um, that's why coming at the end of this month, we've got another Bank of Namibia um, uh, MPC meeting, um, and we don't expect any change in interest rates or that the Bank of Namibia should follow suit with South Africa. Um, and that's primarily because the private sector credit extension figures are hovering around 13% for the last year, so still very strong. Um, a lot of consumer spending driving uh, driving most of the, the, the demand side of the economy. Uh, so we haven't really seen that factor in too hard onto inflation. Uh, latest inflation figures came out at 560, um, so that's still down from the previous month at six. So even though the trajectory of inflation is still relatively uh, on, on the downside, um, we don't foresee a, a change in interest rates. Obviously, to, uh, tomorrow we've got a petrol price increase of uh, 34 cents uh, for unleaded and 27 cents for diesel. That will factor into inflation going forward, but our, currently our primary concern for the upside on inflation is obviously food prices. Let's, let's just talk about the money supply um, figures that we've seen. And in terms of private sector credit extension, uh, dropping back to 12.2%. Uh, uh, where are we seeing that, that fall? Is it from businesses or individuals taking out less credit? Uh, it's primarily the businesses have come down um, slightly, um, even though they still remain uh, remain strong. They, it's relatively balanced between the, the, the private sector and, and businesses, or uh, the, the basic consumer and, and businesses. But uh, it's m mostly the, the the business side of, that has dropped off slightly, um, and that's mostly due to a decrease in overdrafts. So not not major concern on, on that part as yet. I mean, it's fascinating that at a time like this where we're seeing slow domestic consumption as a theme, it's been a theme here in South Africa, slowing domestic consumption, you've still got uh, concerns around demand pull inflation in Namibia. I mean, why is that so? Why is, uh, why is consumer spending still so strong and holding up so well? Well, I think uh, Namibia probably appreciates more this, uh, the multi-decade in, uh, low interest rates. Um, so that's why we still see very strong, uh, strong demand um, for credit. And the banks here are slightly more uh, willing to lend still than, than probably the, the, South African, the South African banks. And obviously, we also don't have the, the National Credit Act holding, holding the banks back uh, um, to such a large extent. Also, the Namibian consumer in general is much less leveraged than uh, I would say the average South African uh, consumer. So there's, there's more space to, to, still, to still borrow. In terms of regulation, you bring up the fact that, um, that even though consumers are a lot less leveraged than South Africans, uh, you still don't have a, a National Credit Act which limits the amount of credit that banks can extend. Uh, have there been calls for this? Is it time to relook that policy? N not calls that I have heard of uh, personally. So, uh, in in terms of that, the market is still relatively quiet. Every now and again, in a uh, monetary policy statement from Bank of Namibia, you do see some reference to the to the household indebtedness, um, which is. I think always in the back of a central bank's mind, uh, but I don't think that it's uh, at such a point where, where regulation will be start, uh, uh, starting coming through on, on that point now. Uh, let's go back to inflation uh, projections right now, as you say, slipping back to 5.6%. And we have got uh, concerns around consumers still spending heavily, taking out credit. And then, of course, this fuel price increase. Uh, but what about a, a slower than expected demand, uh, a slower than expected um, growth? locally as a result of, of slower than expected demand coming through for exports? 
Well, primarily Namibia's inflation is, is imported, so uh, the, the exact demand, demand pool inflation isn't so strong here. Mostly we import um, our inflation from, from our trading partners, which is primarily South Africa. So in terms of that, you know, there's, there's no real, um, real uh, Namibian driver that, that's internal so strongly on, on the inflation. So looking forward, the petrol price increase obviously will have an effect, but petrol in itself only weighs around 1.7% of the total inflation basket. So the increase now um, basically negates last month's uh, decrease, um, but the, the, the overall effect in, in the medium term would still be for a slightly lower trajectory um, uh, in inflation in line with uh, basically what we predict on the South African inflation, inflation side. Yeah, Ian, thank you so much for joining us today. Ian Erlang from Capricorn Asset Management.